Added that way, every other cluster, every third cluster. Randomly select. A certain number of clusters and then sample the entire cluster. Or collect data, I'll say that way, more specific and then collect data from the entire cluster. So again, systematic, this is the way you collect small samples. You put everyone in order, you pick every taped item. Strata is, is grouping by characteristic, cluster is not. Stratified samples, you're picking a random sample within each strata. Clusters, you're randomly selecting, using systematic sampling, you're randomly selecting a certain number of clusters, so you put them in order. You pick every fourth cluster or every fifth cluster or whatever, whatever you, you want, considering your, your population size. Pick every certain number of cluster, but then you, you take everyone's information from that cluster and everyone's information from this cluster. How people understand the differences between these things. Good deal. Would you like to be done with definitions for a while? Go. No, these are awesome, but we can move on, Mr. Larry. Are you ready to move on? Okay. We're done with 1.5. We're done with Chapter 1, which means we're done with all this vocabulary, terminology, vernacular that we've been covering. We're going to move on to, to chapter two. Oh, by the way, you know, there's one one more thing I need to discuss. Sorry about this. Um, and that's the two types of errors that can happen when you're sampling. You figure it this way. If this is my population, and I have randomly selected, let's say this is random, and I randomly select U6 right here as my sample for all of you. Are they going to have the exact same characteristics that are representative of every person in this classroom, do you think? Are they going to represent you 100% well? Probably not, because they're not exactly the same people as you. Now, while it might take too much time to get the whole population, I'm looking at just these six, there's two errors that can occur. The first one's called a non-sampling error. This is something like where you screw up, like you write down the wrong information or you make a math error, something like that. That's called a non-sampling error. But inherently, when you are sampling a population, you're going to get what's called sampling error. Sampling error is the difference in characteristics between your sample and your population. Because these people aren't going to represent you perfectly. They're going to be a little bit off. I'm not saying you guys are off, right? I'm just saying that you're different than than other people. So they're not going to represent you 100% correct. And the, the difference in that is called your sampling error. And that's just due to ra the random chance of sampling. That's what happens there. Okay, so now we're good to move on to chapter two.